the sex trafficking. Um, some of you know I've been working with an organization called Child Lives Matter March. Uh, we're doing a big rally tomorrow in Hollywood, and um, just the stories that are coming out have just been so atrocious. I did not even realize, I knew sex trafficking was huge, I didn't realize how huge this is. It's the second largest industry, criminal industry, second only to drugs, and it's about to, to overtake that because drug runners have realized selling a seven-year-old girl is a lot more profitable than selling crack to an addict. So we do, ha and it's coming out into every, every town has trafficking. It's not always a, it's not always a, um, somebody stealing a child per se, but a lot of times these children are groomed even within their own family and church leaders and youth counselors. Um, I'm getting stories because now that I'm, I'm in this industry or in this realm now, stories are coming out of the woodwork from people I had no idea. So, um, yeah, just something to keep aware of, um, keeping your stories. Uh, yeah, it's just deep. But what I what I wanted to talk to about you too, or talk to you today is, um, I have a letter from a friend. Oh, you got it, perfect. Um, who's a really concerned uh, OC native, and he really wanted to get some words out to this group in particular, because he knows that you guys are like-minded individuals, and so I'm gonna read this letter to you. Um, it starts off, to the good people of Orange County, I write to you as a business owner, OC native, geopolitical researcher, and investigative journalist. It's with great urgency, I feel the need to warn you and prepare you for what's to come your way in the next three months. The writings have been on the wall for quite some time, and what we're experiencing, as we know, has little to do with a virus and everything to do with the takeover of the West, and in particular, Orange County. I don't need to tell you the ill importance of a mask or the lackluster, lackluster effect of the coronavirus. It's been tried, dissected, debunked, and dissected again. What many of you have witnessed in Costa Mesa recently is a preview of what's to come. Mass kidnapping by city cops who will do the bidding of the polit corrupt politicos bribed with Chinese dirty money. The mask is a form of grooming, and it is a stepping stone to the phase four of the much anticipated coronavirus vaccine. This vaccine rollout will soon take place throughout California, starting in September. Despite what the executive branch may say, our state government will not listen. As Gavin Newsom said in April, California is an independent nation state, and we will decide our own fate. Although I've stated countless times that Orange County is the heart of the resistance against Governor Newsom and his Chinese backers, we now must start looking in our own backyard to identify certain cities within the OC that will turn on you. Starting with Santa Ana. Santa Ana has been defiant for quite some time in regards to being a world-renowned uh, sanctuary city. The corrupt mayor and city council most likely took Newsom's bribe money to continue this fake demic hoax. Their ineffective ability to control the undocumented immigrants is a true sign of what Santa Ana has always been about. Dismantling Orange County through a slow infiltration while harboring traffickers, felons, and crooks. And that's just the city council. They are the new communist breeding ground. Please take note. Costa Mesa has always been known as a mecca for all convicted pedophiles to reside. The California state government pays the city of Costa Mesa to house sexual predators in Section 8 track homes, trailers, and motels, some even within close proximity to elementary schools. Without hesitation, the city officials have taken these government funds and turned a blind eye towards any children who may be in harm's way. Costa Mesa city cops are nothing but a symptom of the true demons who run that city. Please stay clear and boycott at all costs. Next, we have Fullerton. Fullerton, similar to Costa Mesa in the sense that there are hordes of transits who fill the street of this once jubilant city. In the wake of Kelly Thomas' murder of uh, 2011, the true nature of the Fullerton police was put on display for the world to see. And the release of 18,000 inmates by Governor Newsom makes Fullerton a hub for civil unrest these corporate communists want to unleash on the OC. Please watch your footing with Fullerton. Uh, Irvine, once voted the most safest city in America, uh, has been over time infiltrated by Chinese nationalists, buying up homes with cash and becoming a dominant force uh, via UC Irvine. 
comes as no surprise, the BLM has taken root in Irvine, publicly stating they will welcome the thousands of ermit, in, uh, thousands of inmates currently being released by Newsom and have open arms and care packages to receive them. If the original Irvine settlers knew what has become of their land, they would call for a revolt. California is part of the United States in name only. They are part of a short list that will endure an insurrection, meaning that this is a hot war to come in every major democratic stronghold throughout the United States and especially California. Now, now, now for some um, what to do's, okay? Not enough of the, uh, the scare warnings. Uh, without continuing a long list of grievances and warnings, I will end by suggesting the following. One, you will need to prepare for a food shortage. Have a several month supply of food reserves. Do not rely on the county to provide food for you. Your governor is hoarding food, and this is by design. Number two, learn an escape route without relying on your electronic devices. Uh, all Wi-Fi, mobile reception, and electricity will face blackouts within the next three months. Learn to live without these luxuries and relearn your primal instincts. Uh, number three, obtain a firearm or stay close to those who have one. Uh, many law enforcement will either retreat or enforce draconian mandates on you at behest of politicians who have sold you out. The only constitutional law enforcement we need to know are the Orange County Sheriff's Department and Don Brown's. His deputies, who have vowed to protect the United or the OC citizens' constitutional rights, and as a side note to that, uh, I think it's a really good idea to possibly get in touch with Sheriff Barnes and talk about getting every citizen deputized, uh, so we can make uh, citizens arrest if need be. So, if anybody has bridges that can be built between the sheriff's department, please let's talk and let's let's start making those bridges happen. Uh, number four, if you are in a troubled city or live alone, you may want to vacate California or hunker down with trusted friends and family. People who are alone and with food, firearms, money, or shelter will be targeted, especially single women. Number five, plan to defend your property and not just your home, but your body. This isn't just a world war on the West, but a war on you, the individual, especially your children. America isn't. America wasn't served on a complimentary platter, but it was fought for with great vengeance. You must remember, we are not Europeans, we are Americans. We are violent by nature, bold in action, and love our freedom. We can turn this around. Each and every one of us has what it takes to stop this global takeover of the US. Discover the courage you may have not known you had, and flex the strength that your creator gave you to survive. The retaking of our country begins today. We are now the angry majority. Sincerely, Dean Ryan, owner, realdealmedia.com. So that is seems to be some of his nature, but it doesn't necessarily make him wrong. I had a friend from Trinidad once tell me, really great guy, super friendly, but once you got him in the right conversation, also one of the most serious people you have ever met. And he told me one time, imagine every terrible possibility that could happen to you. Because ba bad things happen to good people, and the survivors are the ones who can mentally prepare for it. And he, he had seen quite the atrocities in his time, so I, I do take what he said with some uh, gravitas. So that, that was the message. Um, yeah. Um, maybe I'll see some of you guys tomorrow in Hollywood. Yes. Question, is there a way for us to get a copy without getting the information or the private stuff that is in there? Just for our person, just this group here? Um, you know what, I think he's gonna be putting something on his website, realdealmedia.com, of like the bullet points of this letter. So I don't know if he's done that already or not, but he is working to put something together, realdealmedia.com. Sure, sure, you can, have, you, you can pass it around. Um, just to, to that point, uh, our mother's market, Santa Ana, has now scaled down their entire produce section. They've removed how many bins? Six? About 40 percent. 40 percent of their produce as yeah. of today.